Welcome to Pack of Alham. Am I big? How big am I? Let me make myself smaller. Can I do that? Can I make myself smaller? Okay. Hello. Did you try it? Your father's out there hollering for you. Did you try it? I'll come back. So, I'm not sure. I mean, he'd already uh, put it in the food. So, I guess I... I mean, I'll taste it later when I eat the food. Uh, I went to... Reboot the I Bought the Life series. I'll call it season two of I Bought the Life, I guess. It's been almost a year. Almost 360. So, something so. It's, so it's three. So, but then subtract 30 and then another 30. And then, Right around 300 days, more or less. I don't know any exact thing. Um, I also want to, sometime if I have time, I beloved the live, do a live stream on YouTube as I play I beloved the live. But for now, Kahoot New Year's trivia. It's the so I did it in October for Halloween and then November Thanksgiving and then I did it for Christmas but you have to go to my Christmas Central video which is that info card right up there yeah, that info card um okay and I'm gonna do it again next month for Valentine's Day and then Maybe for St. Patrick's Day. Okay, um... Let's go ahead search for New Year trivia. Good riddance to 2020, am I right? Um, okay, let's see. Go to it. Chinese New Year, when is that? February 12th, okay. And, uh, let's see. New Year 2019 trivia. Mm. Oh, what about New Year's traditions? Here we go, New Year traditions. Okay, 12 questions. Bobby music, but not Christmas, I don't know Christmas, it's, uh, I mean, uh, technically, I think we're still in Epiphany, what is it? The manifestation of Christ to the Gentiles, oh. Sudden or striking realism. Wait. Religious. I don't know. Um. Original. Hmm. Okay. Um. Okay, I'm going on with the adventure. What did I pick for November? Was that fantasy? No, it's that adventure. I don't remember. Ooh, this is a new one. 80s vibe. That's new.
But yeah, in the 80s, it's a decade. Okay, I'm going with the 80s vibe. To minimize, minimize, do, 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 do. Okay. Classic. Alright. Two four one zero two four nine. Enter. Oh, I see. It allowed me to type in if the, the am, but after I submitted it and cut it off, so I'm just going to do high revamp. World. I know about the 12 grapes and the fireworks in New York Ball Shop. Denmark will bring you luck outside your front door. Bring you fruit. No, broken plates. Mazel tov. <laughs> I don't know. Well, since I tapped an incorrect answer, I have to uh, wait. Uh, click. Click to spin. I wonder if uh, this works. Uh, ready, set, boop. Here's your clothes. Your father just asked if you were putting them away. I'll put them away. any orange with red. No, never mind. I just found an orange with red spots on it. As I was saying, I didn't see it. Okay. There we go. Here it is. Yep. I noticed that big red spot right there. Like Jupiter. Okay. Peach. Tastes sweet. Now, peach and barf kind of taste similar at the beginning. But if it were barf, it would start to taste like something that's supposed to be warm. Like SpaghettiOs. I don't compare the two. But, if it ends up being sweet, then it's peach. And sweet, have peach. I did check for the audio recording this time. Testing and testing. Yeah, I think. Yeah, you can hear. Yeah, okay. We're good. We're good. Alright. Almost 10 minutes, and I've just gotten the first question. Okay, that's. Let's move on. Oh, yeah. And. Do, do, do. You still don't have anything to eat? How much do you eat? Seven is a pretty lucky number. Twelve times, that's a lot. Don't get it confused with the twelve grapes in Latin country, I think. Okay, seven hundred forty-five. Okay. Hmm, Scotland. Um, this would have to be pure guess, not Scottish. Four chance that I would tap the correct answer. Alright. 
Oh, yep. Okay, Spain. Yeah. That's 12. Okay. Uh, 23 or 45 points. Uh... Yeah. Here's my guess. This is just a guess. They're thrown away, or the old year, or the old year's dying, or something. That's just my guess. Okay, next. And also, the other three things, mm, I don't know how, I don't know how they would have some kind of a, like, superstitious or, like, a traditional uh, significance or whatever, like a graveyard would have. Hmm. Looney Duke. Never heard of that. <laughs> the wife carrying race. I don't know. Swim in the first of fourth. I don't know the first of fourth. I don't know what that is. Yep, I still have more of these. Butter popcorn, butter popcorn, butter popcorn, better be butter popcorn. Oh, hard one. And it is buttered popcorn, yeah. or something or they just drop the actual I'm not sure she leaves a mess that they have to clean up but now I'm thinking of confetti that might be even harder I don't know I have to spin the wheel again throw ice cream oh. there's one of these staring at me I mean this is a lose-lose for me. But with the... What was the other one? Uh, baby wipes? Yeah. I mean, I... I mean, I like baby wipes better. But, in this case, it's a lose-lose. Okay. Got that one. I can tell. They're dairy. Hmm, what about spoiled coconut milk? Because, you know, what coconut milk is the thing? I can kind of almost convince myself that it's just milk flavor. Not ready. It's kind of like strong milky flavor. Okay, I'm looking for I think walking backwards is a thing in New York. That's my guess. Nope. Empty suitcase. That's the correct answer. Okay. Okay, I just had one less butter popcorn. So if I if uh, not all of the rotten eggs were eaten, then there's now a greater chance that I'm will eat a rotten egg than I previously had. If there's, if there's any more uh, rotten eggs in here, then since I ate a buttered popcorn previously, then it will be a greater chance for rotten egg. I have another butter popcorn! I still see another... White and yellow. I don't know if we finished all the rotten and butter popcorn. Alright. Also, make a wearing colored underwear gave you the what red means. Love. Yeah, red is if that makes sense. Like uh, Valentine's Day or whatever, like red, pink. 
I think white is peace, green is health, and purple is wealth, white peace, that's, that's my guess. Guesses. 4,000, okay. Uh, who wrote Arling Sign? Hmm. Burns. Yes. I don't think Shakespeare wrote any songs. Though, maybe it was a poem that was turned into a song. Just like the Star Spangled Banner, the national anthem of the United States. Puerto Rico, what did they throw out of the window? Uh... How many points do I have now? 56, 72. Okay, that's good. I think. Okay. Where the Ireland to uh, hit their walls with. <laughs> Okay, if you're smart, click the like button. If you're a genius, click the subscribe button. You'll see me next time. Now I say pyro because that's fire and fireworks are calmly launched on two holidays or two special days in the United States. New Year's because um, it's dark and fireworks and also Independence Day. Though, um, 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 I think you need a license for the big fireworks that go in the sky. And if you launch them illegally, then you're kind of ironically celebrating the independence of the country by breaking a law. Smart. I already said my outro. Ah, I'm gonna say it again. If you're smart, click the like button. If you're genius, click the subscribe button. You'll see me next time. Next time. You'll see me next time. 1805.